All right, so right now I am in the Denver Botanic Gardens here in lovely Denver, Colorado. And as you can see behind me here, this is the Japanese garden. I believe they call it Shofuen, which is a really cool name. But you can see it's a very well done garden. I feel like I'm back in Japan actually. But the cool thing about this garden is that all of the big pines that you see in here, they're all ponderosas that were collected locally in the Rocky Mountains here in Colorado. So it brings the mountains down into the garden here and really gives it an interesting feel. But the trees themselves have been maintained in a way that's very similar to the Japanese black pines that you see in the big gardens in Japan. So they're very well padded out, well developed, very well maintained, and it just gives this garden an absolutely incredible feeling to it. So it's a pleasure to be here. I'm gonna be working on a tree for the collection here, the public collection here at the garden today. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in just a little while. like being back in Japan right here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So this was this was a mountain style tea house that was actually built in Japan. Oh really? They shipped it over here, shipped the artists, the carpenters over and put it back together. Huh. It's very cool. These are all ponderosas. So at the Botanic Gardens here, they have a really nice bonsai collection as well. They typically have about 20 or 30 trees on display and they've got 40 or 50 total that they switch out every few days so that the public can see new trees coming in and out on a pretty regular basis. But a lot of the trees here are naturally occurring plants that are in the local environment here. So a lot of ponderosa pines, Colorado blue spruces, there's some Rocky Mountain junipers here as well. Uh, and they've also got a nice collection of tropicals too. So despite the fact that it gets very cold here in the winter, they've got a nice setup where they can take care of tropicals, temperate, and trees that can get down to very extreme low temperatures. So it's a nice mix, a very interesting bonsai collection here. So this is the tree I'm going to be working on today that's going to go into the permanent collection here at the garden on display. It's a limber pine and we're going to style it in somewhat of an old Tokyo style literati type tree. So I think it's going to be an interesting plant but we'll get into it and kind of see what happens with it here. So what do I mean by the old school Tokyo style literati type tree? Well, if you go back and look at a lot of the old Kokufu books, you'll see a lot of trees that were very long and elegant, multiple trunk, where the bases of the trunks were very close together and then they fan just slightly at the top. It's a little bit hard to describe, but when we get done with this tree, I think you'll recognize the style that I'm talking about. You don't see it a whole lot anymore in Japan. It was popular back in the 60s and 70s and into the early 80s, but it's a style that I'm a huge fan of and I wanna to try to turn this tree into that and uh, mimic that, bring that style over here to the US and show what we can do with our native material here, mimicking or building on that style.
they're not moving. Yeah, they're moving a little. They're, yeah, they're, they're so not moving. too thrilled that we're here, but that's okay. No, it's okay. <laughs>